Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official WoW Insider Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from WowInsider.com for the week of December 15th, 2012. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. The 12 days of Winterfell have begun over at WowInsider.com and to celebrate for day one they are giving away a blazing hippogriff loot code that is redeemable for an in-game mount in World of Warcraft. To win this, all you have to do is leave a comment on the post before 11.59pm Eastern Time on December 27th. For the second day of Wintervale, WoW Insider is celebrating by giving away a Feet of Wintervale collectible tin from the World of Warcraft trading card game. Inside the tin, you'll find one card set including nine rares, two mini pets, and three packs from the War of the Ancients. There'll also be a deck box included. To enter this giveaway, just leave a comment on that post before 11.59 p.m. on December 28th. For more information on how to enter these contests or to keep track of the future contest in the 12 Days of Wintervale at WildInsider.com, check out the links I have in the description below. Some blue posts this week by Dratzel gave us a little insight on Blizzard's future plans to change the way that you earn reputation and gain lesser charms of good fortune outside of doing dailies. Sometime in the near future, Blizzard will be adding ways to gain reputation through dungeons and scenarios and also ways to gain lesser charms of good fortune through pet battles. This is really good news for those of you who are sick of doing dailies every single day just to earn reputation and lesser charms of good fortune. Even though it feels like patch 5.1 just came out, believe it or not, patch 5.2 is right around the corner with the PTR scheduled to release in January. One of the changes that we'll see taking place in patch 5.2 is what happens when you hit the Valor cap. In patch 5.2, developers plan that when you hit the Valor cap, your additional Valor will convert to Justice Points. This is really cool, that way you don't just not get anything and you can use Justice Points for like transmog gear or other stuff that requires justice points. <laughs> but of course, the huge news for patch 5.2 is Thunder Isle, which is officially announced as the next raid in World of Warcraft. The final boss in Thunder Isle is very fittingly Lei Shen, the Thunder King. If you don't know who he is, WoW Insider wrote up a great article on his lore, and it's a really good read. If you're interested, I've got it linked below, along with everything else I talked about today. And last up today is our breakfast topic, which seemed very fitting on the predicted date of the apocalypse. WoW Insider wants to know, how do you think World of Warcraft will end? Let me know in the comments section below, and while you're thinking about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. for watching the Wow Insider Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, thumb up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to check back next Friday for the Wow Insider Weekly Recap and to see if your comment is in our featured section. I hope you guys are all having a great week. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Bye!